A Hazleton neighborhood is paralyzed after gunfire this morning when shots are fired at officers from a home. This all happening near the intersection of East Elm and South Poplar Streets around 8 o'clock this morning. And now there's a standoff. This is Andy Mahal. She coming to you from South Pop Street in Hazleton. Right now, there are reports of shots fired this morning, possibly at a police officer. Police right now from the Hazleton area have a home surrounded in the 300 block of Elm Street. Again, this is in the city's south side. At this point, there are no reports of injuries, but again, heavy duty police officer presence in this area. Much more coming up throughout the day on Eyewitness News. Right now, police have a home sealed off, surrounded on East Elm Street. Supposedly, a man is inside that home with a gun. Now, initial reports are, these are not confirmed officially, that supposedly a police officer may have been fired at this morning while on routine patrol. That's not officially confirmed. That's the initial report from the scene. The officer was not hit. There are no injuries at this point. We're told the man is inside a house here on Elm Street in the 300 block. Police had that home sealed off. Uh, SWAT teams throughout the area here, as well as police from throughout the greater Hazel area. Again, South Pauper Street closed off by Elm. Uh, police are advising to avoid the area if at all possible. The house on the left, it's a brown house, it's a 300 block of East Elm Street. At about 8 o'clock this morning, police responded to the home, and at some point we're told uh, at least one shot was fired at a police officer. That began the standoff. Police from the Hazleton area and state troopers arrived on the scene at, again, about 8 o'clock this morning. The house has been sealed off. Several times today, police have used bullhorns to talk to a man inside, telling him to come out with your hands up, surrender, you will not be hurt. They also fired tear gas into the building. Now they've been using bullhorns back and forth. Now a short time ago we did hear some uh, police radio chatter about supposedly there was movement spotted in the second floor of that home in the 300 block. Again, we don't know what that was all about, but police did say they spotted what appeared to be movement in the second floor window. Now the name of the individual, we have several names we've heard. We're not going to release that name at this point. We do understand that within the last hour or so also we've heard everything that unconfirmed reports that the individual may have been texting people within the last hour or so talking about this situation against unconfirmed unofficial at this point no reports of injuries at this point in the situation within the last 15 minutes or so police entered the building here on east elm street the fate of the suspect not yet known this all began this morning at around eight o'clock with reports of shots fired at police a standoff has been ongoing all morning long. Again, police went inside the home here at about 15 minutes ago, searched the building. We don't know the fate of the suspect or if they found the man inside the building. More coming up. The police chief tells us a standoff where the suspect is now over. It ended about 1 o'clock, 1.15 this afternoon. He says the man involved in the situation is deceased. No names being released at this point. This all began around 8 o'clock this morning when the police chief said police responded here to a home in the 300 block of East Elm Street near South Poplar to report of threats. When the officers arrived, he said they were fired upon by somebody. Again, that led to a five-hour standoff. We're told the person involved in that shooting incident is now deceased. Much more coming up on later editions of Eyewitness News. Again, the standoff in Hastings now over.